Physics lecture number 10, horizontal projectile motion. Suppose you have two balls at the same height. One ball is dropped. At the same time, the other ball is launched horizontally. Both balls will hit the ground at the same time. And I'm going to show you a picture that shows and proves that both balls fall downward at the same rate. Okay, so this is a picture of two balls, and then one ball is launched horizontally, and the other is just dropped straight down, and they're both released at the same time. Now the ball that's launched horizontally takes a curved path, while the ball that's, uh, while the other ball drops straight down. Now the pictures were taken at uh, 1 30th of a second intervals, and at each time interval, uh, both balls were at the same height. So every 1 30th of a second, they took a photograph to keep track of where the balls were moving. And each time they took a photograph, they were both at the same vertical height. So I can sort of highlight that. So see right there, same height, 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 and right there, same height. So they're both falling downward at the same rate. Now since an object launched horizontally hits the ground at the same time as one that's dropped, we can predict how long it takes each ball to hit the ground from its height. Um, we use change in vertical height equals one half at squared and then rearrange it to solve for t. So if you were to rearrange this equation and solve for t, you'd end up with t equals square root two delta y over a. So t is the time it takes the object to hit the ground <coughs> when you uh, let go of it and it drops in free fall. Delta y is the change in the vertical height. And then A, the acceleration of the falling object, is going to be 9.81 meters per second squared. So this is the rate at which all objects fall uh, in free fall. So let's do a problem. A bullet is fired horizontally 2.4 meters above the ground. How long does it take to hit the ground? Well, it doesn't matter if you were to just drop the bullet or throw it horizontally. It will take the same amount of time to hit the ground. So we'll use our formula. T is what we're trying to find, how long it takes the object to hit the ground. 2.4 meters is the change in the vertical distance. It drops through this vertical height, and that's the rate at which it accelerates downward. All right, so our formula is T equals square root 2 delta Y over A. T equals square root 2 times 2.4, the vertical height, divided by the acceleration of gravity. And if you work this out, you'll get 0.6994, and we'll round that to 0.70 seconds. So it takes 0 0.70 seconds to, uh, for the bullet to drop straight down. So it doesn't matter if the bullet is dropped straight down or if it's launched horizontally, the time is going to be the same. Okay, so seven seconds to hit the ground, whether you drop it or whether you throw it horizontally. Let's try another problem. Now, if we know the velocity of an object launched horizontally, <coughs> we can predict the horizontal distance it travels before it strikes the ground. So here's such a problem that we have to do that. A rock is thrown horizontally with a speed of 5 meters per second off the edge of a cliff that's 78.4 meters tall. Find how far the rock lands from the base of the cliff. Well, if you were to drop the rock off the cliff, it would take a certain amount of time to drop straight down. If you were to throw it horizontally, it takes a certain amount of time to reach the ground, but whether you drop it or throw it horizontally, it both reaches the ground at the same time. Okay, so let's just figure out how long it takes the object to fall straight down. So, the time it takes the rock, uh, find, we're going to find the time the uh, rock is in the air before it hits the ground. T equals square root 2 delta y over a. 2 times 78.4, that's the height of the cliff, divided by 9.8, and we get t equals 3.997 or 4 seconds. So it takes 4 seconds for the rock to drop straight down. And that's also the amount of time it's going to be in the air if you throw it horizontally. Again, drop it or throw it horizontally, they both hit the ground at the same time. It's based on the vertical height only. So four seconds is how long it's going to be airborne. 
Now the rock travels with a horizontal velocity of 5 meters per second. Uh, since it's airborne for 4 seconds, we can calculate the horizontal distance it travels during this time period. Velocity is distance over time. So we have horizontal velocity equals horizontal distance divided by time. It travels at a horizontal velocity of 5 meters per second. We're going to solve for the horizontal distance. That's this part right here. And then the time, which we saw for previously, was four seconds. So it spends four seconds in the air before it hits the ground. During this four seconds, it's traveling horizontally at that rate. So if we solve for delta x, we'd multiply both sides by four, and we'd get five times four equals 20, or two times 10 to the one meters. So if you throw our object <coughs> horizontally, it will cover a horizontal distance of 20 meters before it hits the ground. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been physics lecture number 10, Horizontal Projectile Motion.